just just on the draft tomorrow night. You're, I mean, you your put chance to have, I suppose, to start really moulding this club. It's disappointing that it's such a compromised draft. You don't have a, you know, too many picks very early. GWS have come into the AFL and deserve a fair start. And every new club that comes in, and all clubs support that. That doesn't mean uh, you get your own way all the time. It means there's got to be some compromise given. Uh, there's, there's good players in every draft, and, and we'll find some. Our recruiting boys have done an enormous job scouring the talent. Uh, we've got a clear picture of the sort of people we want to bring to our club, the type of players, and we've gone looking for that. And hopefully they'll be there when our, our number rolls around. But there'll be good players coming in this draft. It, get the media guide out, and there's good players around pick 50, 60, 70 that bob up every year, and they're, they're there. How much direct involvement do you have tomorrow night? Uh, Oh, the recruiting staff will call the, the players, and that's how it should be, but certainly been involved in uh, sorting through prospective players. And I love this time of the year. It's a, as a coach, it's almost my favourite time of the year in a lot of ways because you know young men are getting an opportunity to play football at this level, and for some of them it's been a dream for them and their parents and their family and their friends for a long time. So I enjoy seeing their faces when they get drafted and especially enjoy seeing their reaction when they arrive at an AFL club I wouldn't say holes. We, we we're looking for to continually bolster our club with the right type of player, and the right type of player generally is a smart player. They're a consistently hard player. They're, they're a good teammate. They they do the right thing at the right time, and they they train and live well, and they're, and they're good to be around and good to play footy with.